Hey there, friends. Today we are destroying lives. Profit over people. Resume. This video is sponsored by Square Enix, by the way, but we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so this is my wonderful city that puts profit before people. It's a little bit run down and it's a little bit... Oh, it's a lot of bit polluted. That's the uh, sewage treatment plants that pump onto the once lovely waters of this rainforest. Uh, we're drilling for oil. We're mining for coal. We're mining for ore. We're burning coal. We're doing pretty much everything that just generates money. Also, we have a crippling crop and gambling problem. But not to worry, because I'm far from all that trouble. I live up on this hill of serenity, and this is my temple. Oh my god, I can afford even the biggest casinos now. But I think what we really need is a stadium. The Expo Center generates huge amount of money. I don't think I could support the pro stadium. Maybe if I try and build this and then I could build an airport and such, it might work. You know what? Let's give it a shot. There's rails there too, so... All right, sorry, houses. You have to go. I'm sure there's another way around it, but I'm just not willing to look into it, I'm afraid. Goodbye. It still doesn't fit. Okay, this old neighborhood has to go then. I'm sorry. Well, not really, because, you know, I did laugh and all that, so it doesn't really imply that I'm sorry, man. You know what? It is what it is. I'm just wondering if I could, like, direct a main road, possibly. Like, from the entrance to the city, that would just go right to the stadium. I have to demolish a few houses, but what's new? <laughs> there we go. And no inconvenience was caused. <laughs> look at that. Jeez. Says, all right, it's fine. It worked for what I wanted. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Good investment for the city. I did spend all of our money on that, unfortunately. I do need a department of transport quite badly. <laughs> but for that, I need a lot more residents. I probably should have chased that before spending all of the money on the stadium. But that is what it is. The city is broke. Here's some of your options. Well, I'll just make the people pay for my mistakes. It's as simple as that. And I'll take out a massive loan as well, please. There you go. <laughs> city fixed. <laughs> How's this building doing? Okay, that sound cue is telling me it's not very good. So it might be a good idea to talk about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Square Enix. Square Enix are running a Final Fantasy VII photo mode competition on Twitter that runs until mid-September. You can enter by posting a screenshot of Final Fantasy VII and marking it with the hashtag FF7RContest. All rules are available on at Final Fantasy VII on Twitter. Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade includes multiple graphical, gameplay, and system enhancements, including improved textures, lighting, background environments, and you can also switch between two game modes. Graphics mode, which prioritizes 4K high-resolution graphics, and a performance mode, which prioritizes smooth action at 60 FPS, and a new photo mode made to capture and share memorable moments throughout the game. Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate is an enhanced and expanded version of Final Fantasy VII Remake for the PlayStation 5, which was released on June 10th. It comes bundled with the brand new episode, Final Fantasy VII R Episode Intermission. Featuring Yuffie as the main character, it also introduces an exhilarating new story arc, new characters, combat mechanics, and numerous gameplay additions, including a new summon, Ramu. If you already own Final Fantasy VII Remake for the PlayStation 4 physical or digital version and own a PS5, you can download the free Final Fantasy VII Remake PS5 enhancement update and then purchase the FF7R episode intermission DLC separately. Thank you again to Square Enix for the sponsor. You can click the link in the description to learn more and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, the casinos are losing a lot of money. I think I may have gone too far on the casinos. I just wanted to encourage their gambling vice so badly, which is losing the most money. Uh, you're losing 30k a day. Or you know what? I'll just turn it off. There you go. Just shut it down. <laughs> Mid-game. Someone was just about to win the jackpot and the power just <laughs> gone. Why are you all coming down here? What are you doing? <laughs> are you using this as a turn? Imagine that you come into the city and you take a right instead of a left and you gotta go all the way up here and all over here to turn. Okay, I'll also shut this casino. Okay, just until the gambling rates go up. <laughs> uh, we can only hope. There we go now. I'm earning three and a half thousand an hour. Okay, that was the problem. What did they just call me? God, some people are walking on this road, the lunatics. Where are you feckin' going? There's nothing up here. They're actually struggling to walk it. I was gonna give me a little access here from my temple straight onto the super highway, which you can do, but then the peasants will start turning in at my temple and I don't think I want that. Okay, I gotta focus on the major problem here. And no, I'm not talking about that fire. <laughs> I'm talking about residential needs. We could build some residential around this oil well, right? Plenty of room to squeeze some houses in there. All right. <laughs> 
I have resisted this for a long time because frankly, I don't believe in firefighters. But I think I actually need firefighters to just try and keep this place under control because I need citizens to progress. There you go. I just deleted citizens to get this place, but oh well. All right, are you happy now? Oh, you're still protesting. Too much crime. Well, then why did you keep asking for firefighters if crime is the issue? Better safe than smoldering. No, people aren't smoldering here. They're actually burnt to a crisp. Look at that. They're ashes. I hope they wanted to be cremated. Jeez, these people must be freaked. One slip of my hand and their house is demolished. That wasn't a slip. They were just complainers. I didn't like them. You know, we could probably save on a lot of costs lighting up these giant gnome monuments, but I don't know. I feel like he breeds fear into the civilization. He keeps them in check. I think if I upgrade the streets, they'll actually start, you know, upgrading the buildings because right now it's still really, really small buildings. I should probably upgrade these two. <laughs> They're really struggling with traffic. They're still low density. They're probably like, wow, the mayor is actually doing something useful for once. This is a weird feeling. Yeah, the buildings are immediately starting to upgrade. This is great for me. It's great for them as well, but that's, you know, just an unfortunate consequence. If you're going to fit houses in there, I'm super impressed. But uh, watch out for flooding. <laughs> and uh, we don't plan on introducing a bike lane for uh, medical reasons. You'd have a heart attack going up that thing. Robbery in progress. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Robbing these people of their hard-earned money to spend on my own little projects. I just want a stadium. Okay, we have enough for the upgrade. Oh, we do not have enough for an upgrade. I thought we had to get to 15,000. I guess it's still flying up anyway, so that's the main thing. Oh, I have no visitors. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. <laughs> There's a man up on the hill running the whole place and he's a feckin' awful dictator. Emphasis on the first syllable of that word. Oh, yeah, they're complaining about taxes. I have enough money now. I don't really need that, but I'll just change it back in a second when I've gained a bit more. <laughs> I like a good number, you know? And 339 isn't doing it for me. Yeah, Prox 350, that'll do it for me. I like that number. You see, this is really good. This is like gaslighting, because I raised them, and now I get the praise for lowering them. Look, they're all delighted with me. Wow, the mayor's great lowering taxes like that. Let's just hope he doesn't take out another loan to build many, many casinos for no reason again. I don't know why bulldozing these buildings are a bad thing. Like, if they're abandoned buildings, just claim them back and sell the land again. And I've made money twice. Plus, it's getting kind of tedious just deleting livelihoods over and over again. Okay, the population is creeping upward. Occasionally, it takes dips like that, and I don't know why. <laughs> I'm assuming it's people dying rather than people leaving, though. I'm just deleting this neighborhood because, well, they're causing trouble, and I'm hoping better people will come in their place. The giant gnome deserves better. All right, I made some higher value land by putting in some, like, fountains and stuff. Apparently, that cancels out living in the shadow of this giant tower. Come on, 30,000. Come on, come on, stop dying for just one second. No, other way. Come on. Stop. Turn around. <gasps> yes, we got it. I was destroying derelict buildings and we just managed to get over it. Okay, you can go back to being miserable or dying or whatever now. I want to build my stadium. Oh, look at that. They listen. They are dying again. Oh, we need power. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Who knew we need power for a stadium? Uh, now the question is, do I risk it all by getting a nuclear power plant? Probably a bad idea given that my people don't even know how to read. I trust you have enough coal to burn. We are mining a lot of it. There we go. We got an excess now. Even though, might even need more if we're having stadium shows. I assume it takes a lot of power to power Ed Sheeran's guitar loop. There we go. It's powering up. We're saved. Ed Sheeran, you can come in now. Okay, now I need all transport links. Luckily, I've saved quite a bit money while my people were just, you know, populating the neighborhood. Yes, boats. I want boats. Yes, sure. Demolish whatever you need to demolish. I'm fine with that. High density road connecting that. Brilliant. Train station. There you go. <laughs> but now for the tricky one. I don't know if this will even fit, but airport? Oh, you feck. <laughs> if only I could go here. Wait, I want to rebuild this. Hold on. Yeah, I'll just destroy the railway we just built. I want to see, can I fit it in there? C come on, dude. Just build the runway shorter. <gasps> I'm at to get it in there. <laughs> oh, that is a risky landing. Good lord. How are you gonna land or take off there? I guess they always just have to go this way. Then then they should be okay. Have zero tourists arrive by air. Check mark. Are you taunting me? <laughs> what is that? All right, and that goes in there now. <laughs> We're squeezing them in here somehow. Okay, and I need a bus terminal. I'm basically trying to get everyone to completely avoid having to enter my city because I know that will put people off. <gasps> Perhaps 
perhaps if I'm willing to destroy these people's houses, then I could build it here. Yeah, that's not even a question. I don't know why I said it like that. More passenger terminals. There you go. An extra runway? No, I don't think that's doable, to be honest. Unless we can use it as a railway and a runway. I could invent that. It's a great idea. I kind of forgot that this whole plan was to encourage tourists to come to gamble in my city. I've become kind of obsessed with having concerts on behalf of the dear leader, which is, well, me. All right, these stadium shows better go well because I have destroyed so many lives. And well, more importantly, it took me a bit of effort and I don't really want my few minutes to go to waste. All right, Ed Sheeran, we're bringing you in. Okay, tonight is the big night. I have to be so careful where I take my water from just because so much of it is so polluted. I hate to say it, but crime is starting to become a problem here. Can someone kill them? No, it's not time. Look, we got this far without police and we'll get even further. Anything to save a buck. I kind of forgot by introducing a load of transportation that, well, there's a cost to that. And uh, now we're losing money every hour. But not to worry, the stadium will save us. Look at this, they're flying in from everywhere. Literally and figuratively. Yes, take water from the place we're pumping sewage into yes oh my god all that traffic <laughs> everyone's going to see ed it's flowing beautifully though it just goes to show that restructuring a city to entirely revolve around your stadium will somehow help the traffic flow having said all this success and whatnot the event started an hour and a half ago and so far i'm still down like a few thousand okay great i'm making a profit yeah it's over i made twelve hundred dollars I'm a little bit disappointed. Okay, can you minimize the fireworks, please? I don't want to lose all of my money. Like, can we just... All right, just take it easy. Okay, how about monster trucks? All right, it's probably easier to make money off monster trucks. It has the word monster in it. People love that. What's up? Oh, you're protesting again. Oh, no, this one guy's just like, hey, if we can get 40,000 people, I'll give you 30 grand. Okay. I don't know if I can deliver on that, but if I do, I get money. <laughs> There's no losing in this for me. This building is fucking always complaining. Honestly, go away. <laughs> I know you're like some wonder or whatnot, but I just don't care for Wingers. I'll build something better in its place. What'll attract low wealth tourists? Here, here's the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> I somehow made the Leaning Tower of Pisa tacky by putting it next to my stadium. Okay, come on, make me a lot of money. You can do this, monster trucks. I believe in you. I'm beginning to think a police station would be a good idea because we kind of have the money now. And I don't know if my sanity will hold if I have to keep deleting buildings like this. Even though it might be a bit late to to try and stop the crime now. I probably should have tried to prevent it, but oh well. Instead of morals, I have money. Okay, look at this. I'm already almost breaking even, and it's still five hours before the event. Yes, monster trucks. I love you. I'm in profit. Okay, I don't know how many monster truck rallies I'll have to have to pay off this entire complex, which I think cost me about a million dollars, but at least it's doable. All right, I'm getting rid of this whatever this is. Sorry, whoever's culture I just offended, but I'm going dozing it. I need an Empire State Building instead because I want to bring in a lot of tourists. Oh, if only my gnome wasn't there, but there's no way I'm getting rid of the gnome. He keeps my citizens in fear, as we mentioned earlier. I gotta get an next to the casino, though, to get all the people who visit the Empire State Building to have a gambling addiction. Look at them all begging for basic goods and services. Feck off. I want to go over here and schedule a monster truck rally. Oh, I got 123,000 out of it. Uh, I think my stadium is broken. I can't click I'll do it button. It's just kind of like permanently stuck in. Okay, let's try the gambling now that I've built stuff up. I need some way of getting money. Oh, will you feck off? Stop abandoning your buildings. Clean up after yourself. It's time to call her up, Mayor. Let's upgrade to an even bigger gambling HQ. Do you really think that's a good idea when Gambling is doing so poorly in this city. Like, it's already losing nearly 10 grand a day in profit. Oh, no, sorry. Over 10 grand a day in profit. Even the Empire State is losing me money somehow. The Leaning Tower of Pisa better not be losing me money. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Poor foundations make 20 grand a day, which explains why my city was doing so well, also built on very poor foundations. And by that, I mean my morals can't schedule monster trucks. But you know what? I've left my city in a very ambiguous position here. It's on the brink of success or failure. Let me know if you want to see more of its fate. All right, we've definitely done enough damage. I'm going to end it there. But if you want to join my city, please subscribe. You are welcome to the cult. Thank you all for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.